guys, how's it going? It's Michael from Lean Body Lifestyle, and today what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is actually how to make your own healthy version of spaghetti and meatballs. We're gonna use some whole wheat pasta, and to make the meatballs, what we're gonna do is use some ground turkey. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is take one package of whole wheat pasta and just follow the cooking instructions on the back. All right, so as you guys can see here, I just finished cooking up our whole wheat pasta, so now we'll just put that to the side for right now and make the turkey meatballs. All right, so what we're gonna do with our turkey meatballs is just take our one package of ground turkey, and I like ground turkey because it's much leaner, it's a really good source of protein, and we're just gonna take it out of the package and add it into a bowl just like this one here. And then what we're gonna do is just take one whole egg and crack that and add it into our bowl. And here's the part of the recipe where you have to get your hands a little bit dirty. We're actually gonna take the turkey and kind of smash it up with our hands. So make sure you don't touch anything else afterwards. Now next up what we're gonna do is add in a couple spices to our turkey meatball mix that we've got going here and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of basil, and a little bit of oregano. So now what we're going to do is actually form our turkey that we have here into meatballs and I'm gonna try to shoot for 16 meatballs out of what I have here. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll put them in the oven. Alright so as you guys can see here we have our turkey meatballs ready to go into the oven that is on right now at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll cook these for 15 minutes and then we'll flip them over and let them cook for a little bit more and in the meantime we'll make our spaghetti sauce so let's go ahead and put these in the oven okay so the spaghetti sauce that we're making today is actually going to be really basic and you guys can change it up you could add chopped onions anything you want to make it taste better to you but I'm going to show you guys a basic version today so what we're gonna go ahead and do is take one can of diced tomatoes and we'll just add this into our pot. And then to thicken our spaghetti sauce up here just a little bit, what I'm going to do is add around 10 tablespoons of all natural tomato paste. All right, so now that we have it stirred up, we're actually going to add in some spices to give it a better flavor. And again, if there's anything that you wanna add to it that I don't today, uh, feel free to add those. So first off, what we're gonna do is take a little bit of pepper, a little bit of oregano, some garlic, and our final ingredient will be basil. And then we're just gonna stir all of our spices together and let the sauce warm up. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and if you guys remember, I said we have to flip over our meatballs, so that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, so now that these are flipped over, they're gonna go back into the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. They're just about done. They need a little bit more, so I'll see you guys when these are done. So here we are, 10 minutes later. I've had the sauce kind of cooking at a lower heat just to keep it warm. I have one serving of pasta here, and I have the turkey meatballs that I just took out of the oven. So now that we're done cooking everything, we're going to combine them all so we can make one nice dish here. So what I'm going to do today is take four of our turkey meatballs and then I'm going to top those off with about three spoonfuls of the sauce that we made. And this right here will be your final product. You guys can get a good look at our nice whole wheat pasta, our homemade tomato sauce, and even our turkey meatballs that we made right there too. So this is going to be a really good meal. Now you guys at home can change up the portion size to fit your diet. This end part was just an example. Really the most important thing is learning how to make each ingredient. And I hope you guys learned today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this recipe if you try it out. If you did enjoy the video and you wouldn't mind leaving a thumbs up rating down below, that really helps me out. And feel free to stop by my Facebook, Twitter, and my new website. All of those links will be in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you on Wednesday. Bye.